Boy, Larry, this next story is really going to stir up some controversy. Absolutely. A lot of people will be talking about this. It's a new book making some shocking claims about the life of Jesus Christ. According to the Lost Gospel, Jesus married Mary Magdalene and they had two children. The authors even say they have evidence to back up their claims. ABC's Dan Harris has our story. <gasps> It's the controversial claim at the heart of Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Mary Magdalene was Jesus' wife. And this morning, an explosive new interpretation of ancient texts agrees, saying Jesus Christ not only married prostitute Mary Magdalene, but also had two children with her. A living descendant of Jesus Christ, would she destroy faith or would she renew it? In The Lost Gospel, due out this Wednesday, authors argue that the original Virgin Mary was Jesus' wife, not his mother, and that there was an assassination attempt on Jesus' life 13 years before he was crucified. These are allegations that are bound to be controversial, but also bound to get a lot of attention. The writers tell ABC News they spent six years working on the book, basing their arguments on an ancient manuscript dating back nearly 1,500 years, one they say they found in a British library, translating the text from an Aramaic dialect into English. I don't think that there's any credibility in these claims at all. There, there is simply no evidence in this text or anywhere else that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene, much less that they had a couple of children. This is not the first assertion that Jesus was married. A fragment of an ancient Egyptian papyrus known as the Gospel of Jesus' Wife was unveiled in 2012, containing the phrase, Jesus said to them, my wife, although the document was written centuries after Jesus died. The difficulty is that when those claims were investigated, it became pretty clear fairly quickly that what we were looking at was in fact a modern forgery. For Good Morning America, Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. Thank you, Dan. And the authors maintain they have made this giant discovery. They will display the original manuscript they found at a press conference later this week and will announce the names of Jesus' alleged children. Well, that won't start any kind of controversy. <laughs> no, nobody will come to you talking. No, about. not at all. All righty.